maximum. Help. Engaged. Greetings everyone, and welcome to the second part of Leon's story. This is gameplay footage from the demo, which was released today, the 18th of September, 2012. So, first impressions. The gameplay was okay, we now have improved movement, with the ability to dodge. But visually, I'm not impressed. Everything is really dark, I had to max out the brightness, and things are still far from perfect. And the resolutions of the textures are not what you would expect from a latest game. This is the demo, I suppose, so perhaps the final product will be a bit more polished. He said it was some sort of fog. If this thing spread in gas form, then anyone who breathed it in got infected. That would mean everyone on campus. Yeah. But then why is it so quiet? I've got a bad feeling about this. Didn't mean to interrupt. The combat is a bit confusing at first, but I did get used to it after a while. Leon's story, isn't so bad. It does feel like you are playing a Resident Evil game. But the other two stories, especially Chris's, did not feel like a Resident Evil game, at all, but more on that in their respective walkthroughs. If there are any survivors. Some of Leon's moves are pretty cool. He must be a wrestling fan. Hey bitches, just bring it. Huh! <laughs> 
to the security gate, it'll lead you off the campus. No, I think we will kill all enemies first. Excuse me, do you sell Jill sandwiches? Never mind. A red herb, and a green herb, see? It's always worth exploring. Hunnigan, the gate's locked. Anything you can do? Sorry, not from here. Try the staff building behind the bleachers. I'm guessing you'll find keys for the gate there. that trigger finger ready. Never know what's around the next corner. Got it. Lots of action coming up, but you will have to wait until next time to see it. Please comment, thumbs up and subscribe, if you like this video. You got it. This is Blade, and it's goodbye from me.